possibly you might be a woman asking, how can a man love me and yet still leave me? Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man this is a situation a lot of women find themselves in and oftentimes you know i make this kind of content so you don't have to get humbled with the consequences of your choices and you can Fix what is in your lane as a woman or as a wife to control. Man, oftentimes women swear that their man is the worst. He's the worst man on earth. He's abusive, he's this, he's that. And then what happens is, if you're like 70 to 90% of the divorced women that go down there and file that divorce, man, it's not too much longer after that man, after you divorce your husband, that he's moved on, possibly he remarries and is happy, and you were sitting back thinking this whole time, he was the problem and this grass is gonna be greener on the other side. That is what I am trying to get you to understand because I'm gonna break down some things that can show you how a man can love you and still leave you. It is the same way the Most High Yah can love you and still issue his wrath and judgment upon you so you go to a burning hell. Man, I want you to think about some scenarios that often happen in marriage and go unrecognized, unaccounted for, and men patiently are suffering. A scenario that women need to be cautious of and mindful of is your accountability. Some women have the poor accountability skills to where they're the last one that is the problem. Everybody else will be the victim. Everybody else will be the problem. And then before you say, you know what? I could be a part of the problem. Your last result is to project the problems that you choose not to recognize and push those on the man like he's the problem. You know, I want you to ask yourself as a woman, how do you conduct yourself if you're in the grocery store, grocery store is full, you got a basket full of uh, groceries and you get to the register and your card declines. This is gonna tell how you handle your own accountability in your relationship. Are you the woman that automatically, you know, feels like you're being attacked, like you're being shamed, like the cashier is all of a sudden being nasty? Do you automatically default to your registers broke? Y'all need to fix these broke machines? Or are you somebody that will say, hey, you know, have you been having any issues on this machine? You know, possibly please move my basket to the side and let me step aside, possibly go to the car, give me 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to figure out what's wrong on my end. And if everything is, is, is good on my end, I will come back and pay for these groceries. Or are you the woman that finds out and gets humbled the hard way when you could have saved face and you found out, oh man, that mail that you chose not to read had your updated debit card. Let alone the debit card you've been using has been causing you problems. The mag strip is wore off. You asked for a new debit card, but yet you didn't realize your other debit card expired. You know, some women will make a scene out of the smallest thing and ultimately they are the problem. Their own choices you know, are what causes these systemic problems in their life. Possibly that's the way 
you handle, you know, things that you should be growing on and developing in your relationship when your man tells you. Automatically, your man, you know, tries to give you the correction that a leader does, that a covering does, a righteous man does. He tries to be patient with you and deal with you in an understanding way, but you got to be the victim in every situation. You know, that's a telltale sign that that you lack accountability. You got some work to do before you take out an all out attack and all men is bad. And this man is 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 worth the, you know, belongs under the jail and he's the scum of the earth. I bet a lot of women, if they could go back and say, let me look at myself in the mirror and do some evaluating. You know, I possibly could have saved this relationship, this marriage. But the humbling part for women is, man, you will tear your home apart just as the word says, the wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down. You will tear your own house down with no reason or righteous justification and then be sitting up talking about another woman took your man when you divorced him and he went and got married and he's happy. Now the kids, every time they go spend time over there, they're coming back telling you how much fun they had and now you're just, you're having to live with your choices. Another one is when a man is having his peace disrupted by your foolishness, one sign is he will be conversationally and emotionally and physically unavailable to you because he does not want to deal with your BS. A lot of women are emotionally unstable and they don't realize it. Very emotionally unstable. The Most High Yah created a man to move according to logic and when a woman was created, she doesn't have the same logical capacity. The same thing for a man. A man doesn't have the same level of emotional capacity a woman does. But when we put man and woman together and both of them are in agreement and submission to the Most High Yah, they balance each other out. You don't know how many men, you know, men, let me know if you've been in a relationship or in a marriage and a woman out of her emotions, having no fact, no logic, will start a argument or a dispute with you and then say all this kind of craziness and then the next day roll around and act like it didn't happen? Let me know down in the comments because this is real and we need to address it. I've not, I don't want nobody to think that I'm shaming women, that I'm speaking down to women, but I'm trying to give you some wisdom before you self-destruct, before you destroy what you are building due to your lack of uh, emotional stability, and lack of logic, and then be sitting up jealous at another woman, rolling your eyes at this man's new wife, because you could have looked in the mirror and fixed yourself. Another one is, you know, when your man is increasing in drinking, you know, at one point when you met him, he would have one drink, but now every day when he comes home, man, he has to have you know, uh, three, four beers just to numb himself so he doesn't have to be mentally and emotionally present for your BS and your foolishness. This is a lot of stuff that women find out the hard way. You have a lot of women that get divorced out of every, you have more men that are divorced and remarried than you have women. That should humble you. You don't want to find out the hard way that you've been the source of the problem, but projecting it on other people. You know, even if your family members as a woman, they're telling you, hey, you know, you're not right. You know, you need to, you need to work on yourself. You need to submit. You can't be disrespectful and dishonor your man. That's not gonna last forever. All of a sudden, your family doesn't know what they're talking about. Your grandma who's been married 30, 40, 50 years, all of a sudden, you feel like you're the victim and she's attacking you when you're the one with the problem. This is the same way that if you don't submit yourself to the Most High, he's not gonna beg you to choose him. 
he's not gonna beg you to choose Messiah, but you make your own choices. The environment that you create for yourself, whether it be negative or positive, is the environment that you have to live in. So today I wanted to just break down how a man can love you and still leave you. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Ow.